All right, guys, so here we are back in your portal, and I just wanted to show you the landing page because nothing has changed to get into your referrals tab. All you have to do is click referrals. So here we are. We're going to start right where it says active leads, okay? And before I dive into this, just a pro tip, you will see a little eye next to each heading. That's going to explain a brief overview of what each category is. So your active leads, customers that we told you about who have yet to make a move, you should work these. And I would have to agree, you absolutely should work these. So the important thing about the active leads is that again, we have an entire concierge team that when somebody sees that free home valuation ad on Google or Facebook, they fill in their contact info and hit submit. That's when our concierge team tries to reach out to them for that first 24 hour period. Again, 24 hours, our concierge team is trying to get a hold of them, trying to get that free home valuation appointment scheduled. Now, if 24 hours passes and concierge still hasn't gotten a hold of the lead, that's where it's going to populate in your active leads tab. So again, concierge hasn't gotten a hold of them. They populate in your active leads tab. They are cold and raw leads, very top of funnel. We have a bunch of YouTube videos explaining how to work these leads. But again, you'll see at the top for this specific agent's portal, we have two different types of active leads, okay? We have Lucio Fernando right in that number one spot. Now, you get the full contact info for Lucio. You get his mailing address, his full name, his email address, and his phone number. Why? because this agent is sponsoring the 92027 zip code, meaning that they are part of our guaranteed display program, which again, is totally optional to join. And we have a lot more info on that in our YouTube channel, or you can reach out to one of the agent success team members and find out more about how to become a part of that program. So now we have right underneath Kenneth Reader and you already see the difference where obviously for Fernando, right? You get the full contact info for Kenneth. You only get his actual mailing address and his full name. The email and the phone number are locked for only guaranteed display uh, members. But again, we have a bunch of videos on how to work these leads, whether you have the full contact info or you just have the mailing and the full name. Now, something I want to point out, because when I was seeing this, it was even confusing for me. I had to ask our team, concierge working. So you're going to see this status in the active leads tab, probably more often than any other status. Now, concierge working again, remember how I said 24 hours, our concierge team tries to get a hold of the consumer. Well, they don't stop. I'm going to repeat that. Concierge does not stop trying to get a hold of the consumer until they do, or until we get the response. I'm not interested or please stop reaching out to me. But just because it says concierge working, doesn't mean you shouldn't be working it too. Think of it as doubling your chances for getting an active appointment, because as soon as concierge gets that appointment, they're going to move it over to the active appointment and it'll be yours to claim. If you get a hold of Fernando, even better, that is your lead to work. That is your active appointment. So do not be put off by concierge working. It's literally just doubling the chances to get that active appointment. Great. Now we're going to move into the inactive tab. This is where concierge has actually gotten a hold of the consumer and they have said, Hey, I don't want a free home valuation. I'm not interested. 
or it's even bad info. As you can see in the status, it's just helpful to know, hey, concierge called uh, Elo Luis and maybe it was a faulty phone number and it wasn't even the person. So they're of course going to disqualify that lead. So you guys aren't wasting your time reaching out to these bad leads. Terry, as you can see as well, they were able to get a hold of him, but Terry said, hey, I don't want this anymore. So of course, we're not going to keep that in your active leads tab. And again, if you get confused, there is uh, the information, little I next to the heading, customers that we told about you, that we told about you, excuse me, that are not interested, don't mean our lead quality standards, et cetera, don't bother working leads. These are the active appointments. So again, concierge gets a hold of somebody that filled out that free home valuation and they have scheduled an appointment, which again, if you are in our guaranteed displayed program, if you're sponsoring that zip code, you will get a text message notification because you are in that top slot of, hey, Sherry has agreed to show her home for that free home valuation on this day and time. Are you available? And you have confirmed that's when it pops up in your active appointments. So the difference between active leads and active appointments is active appointments actually have a scheduled day and time for you to go out and give that consumer their free home valuation. And again, because this person is sponsoring, excuse me, this agent is sponsoring the 92027 zip code, they have the full contact info, which they are more than welcome to use um, to confirm the appointment. And we have videos on what our best practice is in your follow-up before and after the appointment as well. I'm going to continue to harp on going to our YouTube page because I guarantee you any question you have is answered in a refresher course or just a video on leads in general. So again, active appointments, you got something scheduled, you're going to that house. Now the loss, loss listing sales, this is, say we referred, uh, let's say Lee had filled out the free home valuation, it got into your active leads, and for whatever reason, Lee, let's say Lee had already been working with a different agent, and that agent got the listing signed, or the home was sold, that's where this will populate. Now, a lot of, it has negative connotation, right? Like, oh shoot. I missed out on this opportunity, but what I like to recommend is treat this as a blessing in disguise, if you will, where again, you're seeing activity in this zip code, which is a good sign. People are actually selling their home. People are actually listing their own. So maybe your approach to working your active leads needs a little bit of tweaking. And we have plenty of success stories. Our, we have a whole agent success team here to kind of coach you through some best practices to get this uh, lost with things tab, hopefully non-existent in your portal. Another interesting tactic that I'll just share with you is say Lee listed um, and you go on Zillow, Redfin, whatever you use, and you see that the property was listed, but then it got taken down. It's no longer for sale or, or it's no longer sold. To me, that's a great opportunity to go door knock. Or again, because this agent is sponsoring the 92026 zip code, call them up, treat it like a cold call. You know, obviously something went wrong with the listing process for this person. So figure that out, see what happened, what went wrong, if you could be a better service. So there is opportunity, even though it, again, this category can be viewed as a, a discouragement, if you will. But it's nice to know that there is activity there and there is even opportunity if the property hasn't sold, it was only listed to explore why it hasn't sold. Now, the final category is the wins. Um, unfortunately, 
This is an example where uh, this is a newer agent to our network. Obviously, we don't see conversions overnight. Um, that being said, we do have appointments scheduled where the agent shows up and that person is ready to list right then and there. But in reality, these are very top of funnel clients. So they are just starting their selling journey. They're just wanting a free home valuation. But if this agent were to successfully close a lead that we per provided, excuse me, it would populate in the winds. This is your sold.com closing. So it's essentially a successful close where we provided you the lead. Now I'm going to go back <laughs> because I want you guys to really focus on your active leads. Cause these are the leads you should be working and this concierge working status, just because it says concierge working doesn't mean it's a lost lead. It's us trying to get an appointment set for you. And if you are able to get an appointment set on your own, please, please update the status for your own record keeping. You can come over to the update tab, referral status. You can hit scheduled appointment and you can fill this into when you guys agreed and hit save. That way it will move it in your portal from that active referral to that listing appointment. So the last thing I'll say about your referrals tab is you do have filters across the top uh, referral side. We do occasionally get the buyer lead, but we are primarily seller focused. So don't really need to filter this out, but this is helpful. If you are an agent that practices real estate in two different states, you can click on the select referral state. And for this agent, they only work California, but say you work California and North Carolina, you could filter out both of those. Then you have the select referral status. Again, you really just want to focus on the concierge working. That is again, us trying to work for you to get a active appointment set up. But if you were able to get a hold of that uh, lead and schedule an appointment yourself, great. We're, it's a win-win situation. Then the last filter is you can search, say, Fernando. You just know his name and you're like, shoot, I wonder what his phone number is. You can just come in directly to search by name, email, or phone, and that will populate. All right, guys, so we're back on your landing page. The last thing I want to point out real quick is this new kind of high-level activity feature that just really gives you a good sense of activity in your zip codes that you either sponsor or service um, or both. So again, you can come through here, 155 leads that we've generated in this agent's 32 zip codes, referred customers, customers that we told about you, active referrals, customers that we told about you who have yet to make a move. So again, work those appointment opportunities, customer appointments scheduled, and appointments that you claimed. So again, there were two appointment opportunities. This agent was able to claim both of them. Active appointment referrals, you claimed appointments that have yet to make a move. So just a reminder to keep, keep nurturing, keep nurturing, keep working. This is listing agreements and then agreements close, so it's successful closing. So this is just kind of a, a, a high level, like I said, overall picture of activity in your zip codes and how you've been working these leads. If there's something on the portal that you're still confused about, please let me know or let our agent success team know. We're just here to give you guys all the tools that will ensure that you guys are closing these active leads. Thanks so much guys. And we'll see you next time.